say they'd be ready, B2. Right about now, B1. It's muffin time! Morgan's making muffins for everyone. Because everyone loves them. The muffins! We know about the muffins, Morgan. That's why we're here. The muffins are missing. Missing? I put the muffins out on the table to cool. Then I went to my room and when I came back, the muffins were gone. Gone? I know one thing about muffins. They don't have legs. Do you think someone took them? Someone in Cuddles Town? Look. Ooh. Someone left their footprints. Whose could they be? They might lead to the missing muffins. Follow the footprints. Let's go, B2. Going, B1. <laughs> Follow me. Follow, Follow him. <laughs> this way. Right, right behind, behind you, Morgan. Morgan. Tracks head for the farm. The farm? With our farm friends. There! Pedro! And look at his feet! Oh no! Huh? Oh, what? Do you know anything, Pedro? Tell us if you do. No, <laughs> what? What are you talking about? The muffins. Muffins? What muffins? So what happened exactly, Pedro? You said to come over to have a muffin, Morgan. So I came over. Then you did come into the kitchen. That's how you left the footprints. But I didn't see any muffins. You mean they were already missing? That's right. You have to believe me. We believe you, Pedro. Because you're our friend. Aren't you forgetting something, Bananas? What? The pie. Remember the time you baked a pie and Pedro snitched it? That's right. He ate the lot. Hmm. We did forget that. OK. I admit, I did once take your pie. But I didn't take any muffins. I promise. OK, Pedro, we believe you. If you didn't see the muffins... You didn't see them. But we still have no muffins. How did they go missing? Do you think the teddies really believe me? Of course they believe you, Pedro. Just like we believe you. Oh, if only someone could find those missing muffins. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's, it's Detective Bananas time! We have to solve this mystery, B2. And to solve the mystery... You need clues. Clues? What sort of, of clues? Hmm... Crumbs! Crumbs... Crumbs. No crumbs here, B1. And no crumbs here, B2. There must be some crumbs somewhere, B2. Then let's find them. Look for signs. Look for clues Stay alert for any news Be on guard 
hard Ears to the ground And listen hard for any sound Banana detectives, banana detectives We're on the trail, hot on the track Banana detectives, banana detectives Whatever the mystery, it'll soon be history Banana detectives, banana detectives No case too hard to crack Soft of tread, shh Soft of voice Creep along and make no noise Sneak about Stay in disguise And never ever get caught by surprise Banana detectives, banana detectives We're on the trail, hot on the track Banana detectives, banana detectives Whatever the mystery It'll soon be history Banana detectives, banana detectives No case too hard to crack No case too hard to crack No crumbs anywhere, B2 Hmm, what should we do, B1? We should ask everyone a question Right, uh, what question? Where were they when the muffins went missing? Where was I? When the muffin disappeared. Do you have any clues? Well, uh, I was in Rat's shop when the muffins went missing. I don't have any clues. Uh, what are you doing? Looking for crumbs. Hmm, no crumbs, B1. Then we'd better check out Lulu. When the muffins went missing, I was outside in the garden. You didn't see anything, Lulu? You don't have any clues? I'm sorry, but I didn't see anything and I don't have any clues. Hmm. Hmm. No crumbs. Me? Sorry, Morgan. We have to check everybody. They were my muffins, Bananas. If I knew why they were missing, they wouldn't be missing. That's a good point, Morgan. So you don't have any clues? Any clues at all? I don't have a single clue. Crumbs. Crumbs. Crumbs! Crumbs? Oh, they're crumbs from the toasted cheese sandwich I had for lunch. Mmm, toasty. Cheesy. Definitely not muffin crumbs. Mmm. We're sorry, Pedro. We can't find any clues. With no clues, we can't solve the mystery. Oh, you did what you could, Bananas. Thanks for trying. And thanks for believing me. <laughs> Hi, Detective Bananas. How's the detective work going? Not very well, Lulu. We haven't found any clues. We don't know how the muffins went missing. Hmm. Well, did you ask Morgan to act out what he did when he made the muffins? Did we do that, B2? Uh, no, I don't think we did, B1. Maybe you can find out something new that way. Great idea, Lulu. We'll ask Morgan to do that right now. Wait for us! Show us what happened, Morgan. Right from the start. Which is the best place to start? I mix the muffins up, put them on a tray and put the tray in the oven. What did you do then? Don't leave anything out. Hmm, the muffins baked, and when they were ready, I took them out and put them on the table. And then? I, I, I made some icing for the muffins. I went to the cupboard to get some sugar. See, this sugar right here. I forgot to put it back. Huh? Ah! Oh. 
the missing muffin mystery is solved. Because the muffins aren't really missing. But I... What did I do? I think we know. You took the sugar out of the cupboard. When you did that, you put the muffins into the cupboard. Then you went to your room and forgot what you did. That's when Pedro came into the kitchen. He looked all over, but there were no muffins. Then he left, just like he said. Just like we believed him. I feel terrible. I didn't really believe Pedro when he said he didn't know anything. You can make it up to Pedro. And you can do it right now. I will. Will you forgive me for not believing you, Pedro? No problem, Morgan. Thanks, Pedro. And thanks to the bananas for solving the mystery. It was nothing, Pedro. Nothing that good detective bananas wouldn't do. Give Pedro his surprise, Morgan. I am. I am. We've got you a present, Pedro. Fresh muffins. And they're all yours. Muffins? Oh, my favourite. Fantastic. Oh, thanks, Teddies. Another mystery solved, B2. By the Detective Bananas, B1. Oh, Bananas! <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Sun. What a beautiful day. A perfect day to go out and play. Oh, no. My clock. Good morning, Morgan. You've broken your alarm clock. Don't worry, Amy will fix it. Never mind, Morgan. You didn't mean to break it. It was just bad luck. I suppose so. What a great day, B2. The best, B1. What should we do today? Hmm. Hey, Bananas! Hello, Morgan! Do you want to play softball with me? Softball? We love softball. It's banana-tastic. You throw, I'll bat. And I'll catch the ball when you hit it. Then I hope you got long arms. Why is that? Because I'm going to hit it high right over the house. Here it comes, Morgan. My super-swerving banana ball. I got it. I've got it. I didn't get it. Oh, no, the window! Morgan! I didn't mean it! Uh, that's fixed it till Charlie can come around and put in a new window. I'm sorry, Amy. Don't worry, Morgan. It was just a bit of bad luck. Bad luck again? Bad luck can happen to anyone. But why does it keep happening to me? It was an accident. That's all. Well, I'm going to make it up to you. Who wants an ice cream from Rat's shop? Yes, please. Thanks again for the ice creams, Rat. Oh, my pleasure, Morgan. Enjoy the cheese and chocolate flavour. Now, I'm off for a ride on my new bike. Here you are, everybody. Ice creams all round. Look out for those plants. A plant? <laughs> ah! Sorry, Amy. Why don't you look where you're going? Oh, don't be upset with Morgan, Amy. It's just bad luck. Even more bad luck. More bad luck. Nothing's gone right for Morgan this morning. He broke his clock, then the window. Now Amy's got ice cream all <sighs> over her. <laughs> it sounds like Morgan is a real bad luck bear. A bad luck bear? Oh, Rat's right. That's what I must be. A bad luck bear. Morgan, come back. Rat didn't mean that. It was just an accident. 
Don't worry, Teddies. We'll talk to Morgan. Right, B1? Right, B2. Rat was only joking, Morgan. Besides, there's no such thing as a bad luck bear. Yes, there is. Everything I touch goes wrong. I'm bad luck to be around. Oh, that's not true. We're around you. And there's nothing wrong with our luck. See? Do you hear what I hear, B1? I think I do, B2. It sounds like something buzzing. Buzzing bees! Run, B1! I'm running, B2! <laughs> Into the water! Bananas, that was all my fault. Your fault? No, it wasn't. It was. I'm a bad luck bear and bad luck follows wherever I go. Poor Morgan. It's not always his fault when things go wrong. But if he thinks he's a bad luck bear, then he'll be a bad luck bear. Then we have to stop him thinking that. But how? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's good luck bear time! I knew it! The bananas always come up with a plan. What is it, bananas? We'll give Morgan a lucky charm. A four-leaf clover. But what if it doesn't work? We'll make it work. But we need your help. Here's what you have to do. Four-leaf clover's a great idea, B1. Thank you, B2. But all these clovers have three leaves. See? One, two, three. If only we could make a three-leaf clover into a four-leaf one. We can. We can? With our trusty glue stick. We just stick on an extra leaf. And Morgan will never know the difference. We put a little glue here and stick the extra leaf like so. A four-leaf clover! Do you think this is going to work, B2? We'll soon find out, B1, because there's Morgan now. Hi, Morgan. What are you doing? <sighs> I was building a sandcastle, but the waves washed it away. More bad luck. That's just the tide coming in. No, it's me. I'm a bad luck bear. Not anymore! A four-leaf clover? A lucky four-leaf clover! Keep this with you at all times! And you'll be a good luck bear! Uh, thanks, Bananas, but I don't think it'll make any difference. Give it a chance! Who's for some softball down by the lake? Come on, Morgan! You can play too! Alright. I just hope I don't break anything. I hope the teddies are ready for the next part of the plan. The good luck bear plan! Here they come! Ready with the munchy honey cake? Munchy honey cake in position! How do you feel, Morgan? Do you feel lucky with your four-leaf clover? Nothing makes me feel lucky. I'm a bad luck... Hey, what's that? It looks like... A munchy honey cake! It is! It is a munchy honey cake. But what's it doing here? It's just waiting for some lucky bear to come along and pick it up. A lucky bear like you, Morgan. The lucky charm clover is working already. Maybe. Next up, the lake. Here they come now. Batter up, Morgan. Hit it as far as you can. That's not such a good idea, Bananas. With my bad luck, I'll probably lose the ball. Never. You're a good luck bear now. OK, I'll try. Here it comes, my supersonic banana ball throw. Oh, see? I told you I'd lose the ball. Huh? How did that happen? This really is your lucky day, Morgan. 
It must have bounced back off something. I love this plan. Every time Morgan hits the ball into the bushes, we throw another one back out again. Here it comes again, Morgan. My twister armor banana ball throw. Great hit, Morgan. Oh, the ball has to be lost for sure this time. Oof! That's impossible. Nothing's impossible for a good luck bear. Maybe you're right, Bananas. Maybe that four-leaf clover really is working. Hello, Morgan. Hello, Bananas. How's the softball game? <laughs> You'll never guess what's happened. I've stopped being a bad luck bear. That's great. It's all thanks to the Bananas and their lucky four-leaf clover. Our pleasure, Morgan. My luck's changed. I'm a good luck bear now. Morgan, be careful. I'm okay, but my lucky four-leaf clover. Phew, it's still okay. What? It's not real. The bees! Bees? Ah! Ah! Oh. We're sorry, Morgan. We thought a good luck charm would make you feel good. And make you believe you weren't really a bad luck bear. Thanks for trying to help everyone, but it looks like I'm stuck with bad luck forever. Help! Help! My brakes won't work! Help! Oh, we've got to help rats. But how? Sorry, your trick won't work. Not this time. It's not a trick. We had nothing to do with it. Rat really can't stop his bike. Help! You're right. Hang on, Rat. I'm coming. Morgan, take the shortcut. Oh, help! Someone! Help! <laughs> Thank you, Morgan. What a wonderful stroke of luck that you came along when you did. Do you mean that? I most certainly do. Did you hear that? You really are a, a good, good luck, luck bear. bear. Feel like a game of softball? I learned one thing. When things go wrong, it's not because you're a bad luck bear. Sometimes accidents just happen. Oops! I think we've just caused an accident now. A very big accident. What should we do? Did you hear that, P1? I hear that, B2. That sounds like... Emergency! emergency. Ah! Ah! <gasps> oh! Pardon, B1. Excuse me, B2. Emergency! Ah! Emergency! Emergency! Huh? Do you still hear it, B1? I don't still hear it, B2. How strange. Very strange. What is it? What happened? What was all that noise? It's a mystery. A big mystery. I hope it doesn't happen again. It was freaky. Time for breakfast, B2. A nice, quiet breakfast, B1. Just the birds singing sweetly. And the breeze blowing softly. Cheers. B2. Excuse me, B1. Emergency! Ah! Huh? Bananas! There's that noise again. And now it's stopped again. What's going on? Ah! Emergency! Ow! That's it. We need to get to the bottom of this mystery noise mystery. But how? 
Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's Let's Ask Charlie time! A mystery noise, you say? A very loud mystery noise. Hmm. How loud exactly, Bananas? <laughs> Whee! Ah! Whee! Whee! <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Are you all right? Fine, thank you. This sounds like a mystery worth solving, and I think I've got just the thing. Let's see. Hmm. It's not my <laughs> my super bouncy bouncy ball. And it's not my ultimate expando tent. Here you are, bananas. Just what I was looking for. My latest invention, the mystery noise detector. A mystery noise detector? You can detect any mystery noise with this. It makes even the quietest noise sound very, very loud. Did you hear that, B2? I heard it, B1. With these mystery noise detectors, We'll find that mystery noise for sure! Now remember, Bananas, when you hear a mystery noise, just follow the arrow. It will lead you straight there. Thanks, Charlie. Good luck! Ready, B1? Ready, B2? Let's find that mystery noise! Banana detectives, banana detectives, we're on the trail, hot on the track. Banana detectives, banana detectives Whatever the mystery, it'll soon be history Banana detectives, banana detectives No case too hard to crack Can you hear any mystery noises yet, B2? No mystery noises yet, B1 I wonder where our mystery noise has gone? It's a mystery, that's for sure did you hear that, B1? I heard it, B2. It's a different noise. What could it be? It sounds like cracking. And it sounds like crunching. Could it be a monster? If it is, I hope it's a friendly monster. Look, B2. The arrow's pointing to where the sound came from. Then let's go that way, B1. Shh. Hear it, B2? No, everything seems to have gone quiet again. There, there it is. is. But where's the noise coming from, B2? It's coming from up in that tree. Should we take a closer look? I think we should. Look, B1. A nest of baby birds. That was the cracking and crunching noise. It was the sound of the baby birds coming out of their eggs. It's all right, Mother Bird. We don't want to hurt your babies. <coughs> That's one mystery noise mystery solved, B2. But it wasn't the same mystery noise that woke us up this morning, B1. Huh? Did you hear that, B1? I do hear it, B2. Another, Another mystery noise. noise. Look, B1, the arrow. It's pointing over there. Wait, B1. What if... What if this time it really is a monster? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's banana disguise time. Do you think we're safe, B1? You bet, B2. No monster will ever recognise us now. Listen, B2. I can hear it, B1. The noise is coming from the Teddy's house. Look, B2. In the window. It's a monster. <laughs> and it's after the Teddy's. Don't worry, Teddies. We'll save you. Hmm. What colour will I use next? Why no? Yellow for the flowers. 
Don't worry, Lulu. We'll save you. Look out, monster. What monster? Ah! Stay back, monster. Leave our friend alone. I think we've done it, B2. I think we have, B1. You're safe now, Lulu. The monster's gone. There aren't any monsters here, Bananas. There aren't? But we heard them with our mystery noise detector. It hears every sound around. And we heard a strange scratching sound. Like monsters sharpening their claws. Or like pencils on paper. Pencils on paper? There it is. That's the sound. You see, it wasn't a monster at all. But we saw the monster in the window. And there he is now! There, Lulu. The cleaning's all done. Oh, hello, Bananas. That's no monster. That's Morgan. Now do you believe me? <sighs> oh, we found lots of mystery noises with our mystery noise detector. But not the mystery noise we wanted. Do you hear that, B2? I hear it, B1. It's the noise we're after. What is it, Bananas? We don't know. Where's it coming from? That way. Then let's go after it. Oh, stop, you silly thing. Stop! Stop! Finally. Good work, Cameron Bear. You found our mystery noise. There's no mystery about it. I bought it on sale at Rat's Shop. Rat's Shop? It's supposed to tell me when it's milking time, but the silly thing doesn't work properly. It keeps going off all the time. Oh, well, at least we've solved the mystery noise mystery, B2. I think we have, B1. But I, I need to know when it's milking time or there won't be any milk to drink in the morning. What? No milk. We have to have our milk. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's back to Charlie time! Can do, Bananas. The cuckoo clock's right here. Thanks, Charlie. But there's one little change we'd like you to make. Oh, thank you, Bananas. It's wonderful. Uh, what is it? It looks like a cuckoo clock to me. It used to be a cuckoo clock, Morgan. But now it's a milking time clock. A milking time clock? I've never heard of one of those. Well, a cuckoo clock goes cuckoo, cuckoo. And a milking time clock goes... Milking time! Milking time! Oh, thank you, Bananas. Now I'll never miss milking time again. Mystery noise! Mystery noise! There must be a mystery noise somewhere. Listen, did you hear that? Hear what? That! And it's coming from over there! Surprise! Bananas! Was that you making that noise? If you mean this noise... Then it was us, Morgan. We've brought a present. From Camembert. It looks like fresh milk. It is fresh milk. It's the first milk Camembert made after we gave her the new milking time clock. And she wanted us to have it. Great! Fresh milk's the best. Much better than being deafened by mystery noises. And it's all thanks to Camembert. Thanks, Camembert! Cheers! Oops, sorry, Morgan. That's OK. That's one mystery noise I'm always happy to hear. <laughs> <laughs> So what are we going to do today, B1? I know what we should do first, B2. What's that, B1? Have breakfast. Good thinking, B1. <laughs> Let's see what's in the fridge, B2. That's a 
That's funny, B1. Half of that yummy fruit salad we made yesterday is missing. It can't be, B2. We haven't eaten any yet. We haven't, B1, but somebody has. Look! Someone must have eaten our fruit salad in the night, B2. But who? It's a mystery. A mysterious mystery. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's, it's Detective, Detective Bananas time! Now let's look for clues. Ow! Sorry, Detective B1. Uh, no problem, Detective B2. I think I found a clue. Look! Hmm, muddy footprints, Detective B2. And they lead right to the fridge, Detective B1. Which means they were made by... The, the Fruit Salad, Salad Snitcher! Let's follow the footprints, Detective B1. Right, Detective B2. Hello, Bananas! So, why are you in your detective gear, Bananas? We've got a mystery to solve, Lulu. Someone ate our fruit salad while we were asleep. But who would do such a thing? The Fruit Salad Snitcher! Uh, bananas, do you mind if I eat the rest of the fruit salad? No, Morgan. The bananas need the rest to catch the snitcher. Do we? Why, Lulu? Because if the snitcher ate half the fruit salad last night, he might come back for more tonight. You're right, Lulu. And if he does... The Detective Bananas will be waiting for him! Let's make a hiding place, Detective B1. So the fruit salad snitcher won't notice us. Hmm. I know, Detective B1. We can pull out the sofas and hide on them. It's nice and comfy, Detective B2. We might have to stay awake all night, Detective B1. Oh, no problem, Detective B2. Detective B2. Let's go and talk to him. Hello? Morgan? What did he say? It sounded like... What does... mean? I think it means he's asleep. Asleep? I've heard about this, Detective B1. It's called, um, sleepwalking. It looks... Like Morgan is also sleep eating. You know what this means, Detective B1? Morgan is the fruit salad snitcher. What should we do, Detective B2? I don't know, Detective B1. We'd better ask the teddies in the morning. You think I ate your fruit salad? You were asleep. Asleep? He was sleepwalking. That's impossible! We saw you! Well, that does explain why there were muddy footprints on our floor this morning. <gasps> See? They match the footprints in our house. Exactly, Detective B2. I'm sorry, Bananas. It's not your fault, Morgan. Well, if I do it again, just wake me up. No, Bananas, don't! It says here you should never wake a sleepwalker. Why not, Lulu? Because they can get a bad fright. Then how do we stop him? Yes, how? <gasps> I know, Bananas. Why don't you just lock your front door? Then Morgan won't be able to get in. Great idea, Lulu. That'll definitely solve the problem. Ugh. 
there's someone at the door, B1. Uh, I'll get it, B2. Wait, B1, stop! <laughs> we can't open the door. Why not? Because it must be Morgan, sleepwalking again. He's going away, Detective B1. Then it worked, Detective B2. Let's have some fruit salad to celebrate. Who's that climbing in the window? Oh no, it's Morgan. Oh. He really likes our fruit salad, Detective B1. He certainly does, Detective B2. I ate your fruit salad again. You did. But how could he get in if the door was locked, Bananas? He climbed in through the window. Oh dear. Well, if that didn't stop him, what else can we try? I've got an idea, Bananas. Seven, eight, nine. How many more do I have to do, Amy? As many as you can, Morgan. Oh. Amy, I still don't understand how all this exercise will stop Morgan sleepwalking. <laughs> bananas. If we wear Morgan out, he'll sleep so deeply he won't have any energy to sleepwalk. Oh. That is good thinking, Amy. Very good thinking. Oh. I can't do any more. Just a few star jumps then. Oh, do I have to? Come on, Morgan. We'll do them with you. Won't we, Detective B1? Uh, if you say so, Detective B2. But Morgan might have to show us how. All right. Watch this, bananas. One, two, see? It's easy. Come on, bananas. Ready, set, go! Wake up, Detective B1. What is it, Detective B2? Morgan's back again. Look. Oh, no. What's he doing, Detective B2? Poor Morgan. All that exercise has made him so tired. He can't even sleepwalk without taking a nap. Where's he going now, Detective B1? I don't think he knows, Detective B2. We'd better stay close, Detective B1. There's no telling what he might run into. Quick, he's going to hit the chair. Oof! Now he's heading for the table. <laughs> He's got the fruit salad out, Detective B1. But does he have the energy to eat it, Detective B2? Oh. We don't know what else to try, Bananas. Neither do we, Teddies. Looks like we'll just have to stop making fruit salad. Our favourite breakfast. Oh. Wait a minute, Bananas. I think I've got an idea. What is it, Morgan? Well, what if I didn't have to sleepwalk to get the fruit salad? What if the fruit salad came to me instead? Uh, how could the fruit salad do that? It doesn't have any legs, does it? No, I mean, what if the fruit salad was where I could get it without having to sleepwalk? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's fruit salad at Teddy's time. There you go, Morgan. A nice fresh bowl of fruit salad right by your bed. So now if you get hungry in the night, you won't have to walk anywhere. I'm sure this will work. So are we, Morgan. Good night, bananas. Good, Good night, night, Morgan. Well, Detective B1, that's another case solved. Yes, Detective B2, the Detective Bananas have done it again. Ah, uh, there's just one problem, Detective B1. What's that, Detective B2? Well, now that our fruit salad is at the Teddy's place, what happens if we get hungry in the night? Oh dear, that is a problem. No, 
Johannes? What are you doing here? Oh, sorry, Morgan. We just got a bit hungry. That's all. Oh, bananas. Would you mind if I had some too? Of course not, Morgan. Mmm, thanks. What's going on? We thought the fruit salad was supposed to be for Morgan. Uh, we're sorry, Teddies. It looked so delicious. We just couldn't resist coming over to have some too. Oh, bananas. <laughs> <laughs>